It's Russia versus the United States on a battlefield in Prague. They're fighting in the Battle of the Nations, a competition that mimics medieval hand-to-hand -hand combat. The weapons are blunt, but the blows are very real. And these fighters say that's why they're here, for a taste of excitement and sometimes blood. Просто нужен выход какой-то, так сказать, адреналину, можно сказать, мужской агрессии. Потому что мы любим убитых людей. Серьезно? Я думаю, все вам это скажут. Офисная работа убивает, а тут можно хоть разойтись хорошенько. Many countries have a tradition of historical recreations, but this version was born in Ukraine in 2009. It's caught on worldwide. This year, 750 fighters from 30 countries are competing. Female fighters take part too, though not in this mass battle. Unlike most military reenactments, the combat isn't rehearsed and fighters hit with full force. Each team scores points when their opponents fall to the ground, sometimes with real injuries. There, there are serious injuries, but uh, like in a hockey, some broken bones maybe, uh, and uh, some, some broken joints. But uh, nothing serious, uh, I think nobody was killed in this sport, so... Warriors like these Americans don't have to follow the historic traditions of their own countries, as long as their weapons are appropriate to the period. The Russians are the top-ranked team. But if Ukraine makes it to the finals, the Russians are in for a tough fight. Украина это один из самых жестких соперников не потому что из-за политической какой-то обстановки, потому что они действительно очень очень серьезные противники. А какая команда сильнее, как вы считаете? Украина, конечно же. Wherever they're from, the fighters say the battlefield is no place for politics. С командой России вы будете как-то жестче драться. Жесткость будет одинакова для всех команд. At the end of the battle, there will be no hard feelings. Just a good mood and a lot of bruises.